We want to find the domain of this function. Now you have a square root and so for the domain, for, for x to be in the domain, you must have this inside part, this quotient of two polynomials, to be bigger than or equal to zero since otherwise it doesn't make any sense to talk about the square root. In addition, you cannot have x equal to minus five-thirds because if it's equal to minus five-thirds, this denominator here will equal zero and that wouldn't make any sense either. So what we have to do is leave off minus five-thirds and also find the values of x where this quotient is uh, positive. Now uh, you notice that the quotient here equals zero exactly when x is equal to three halves. And so now we just need to figure out where the quotient is uh, positive and where it's negative. So what we do is we graph this on a number line. X is three halves is this point. And we observe what happens to this quotient. When X is bigger than three halves, both of these terms here are positive. And so this quotient is positive over here. And of course it is equal to zero at three halves. So one of the things, some of the, the uh, domain of this function would be X bigger than or equal to three halves. In addition, you could have X strictly less than minus five thirds. You can't have it equal to minus five thirds because if you did, the inside part would not make any sense. And so the, uh, the domain of this function is X less than minus five thirds or X bigger than or equal to three halves.